Hello, welcome back. In this video, we'll understand how do we set up our test environment in our lab. So, as you see, this is our deployment layout where we need a web tier and we need a database tier. So, basically, there are two options for you. One is you go and buy hardware, network, storage from companies like IBM, Dell, or HP. Or the second option is that you go and rent this uh, this this hardware from a from a service called Amazon Web Services. For this course, my intention here is to show how you can do you can build you can do performance testing. For that purpose, wh what I have decided is that I will rent from Amazon Web Services, and also whatever process I am going to do you can also do exactly the similar steps yourself and you can get a fill of the performance and load testing all right so so we will take this route that we are going to rent from amazon web services so so what is amazon web services or popularly known as aws so essentially aws is basically different infrastructure and software service building blocks what Amazon has done, they have put all their computers and storage and network in one one physical location, and they have they call that uh, that one as their data center. Okay, so in a physical location around the world, okay, you have something called data center where you have enough number of machines that means CPU, RAM, and on those kind of things, and then storage and network and so on. So this is what is called the physical infrastructure physical physical infrastructure so this physical infrastructure is available all around the world and then on top of those physical infrastructure they have something written software ec2 or amazon elastic compute cloud using amazon elastic compute cloud you as a customer do not want to get this machine to your location Rather, using the Amazon EC2 service, you can essentially rent a machine for a particular time and pay them a hourly rate instead of a upfront capital. Like say for example, if you want to rent a machine from Amazon per hour, you might be paying as less as $0.054, which is 5 cents per an hour. Okay. And then, once your work is done, then you can release those machines, so they won't charge you anything. All right. And then another service of similar to EC2 is storage or Amazon Simple Storage S3. Using Amazon Simple Storage, you can rent disk. Similarly, what networking services provides you load balancing and DNS services and so on. Okay. So this is networking. Amazon networking services. One more thing is relational database services which is also popularly known as RDS. So using Amazon RDS you can get a relational database like Oracle, MySQL or SQL Server and let's call this layer as infrastructure as services. So using these services you can get access to a physical infrastructure. So bottom line is that you don't have to go and get a machine and install on your data center instead you can you can you can get a machine from amazon you can rent a machine from amazon and get this thing done also on top of that infrastructure as a service amazon provides some more services like say for example you in your application you are writing an application that application needs to send emails to thousand people so instead of maintaining your own messaging server so what you can do you can leverage one of the services from amazon called amazon simple email services let's say you want to uh, you want to charge uh, money for your service in that case instead of creating your own billing systems and all those things what you can do you can use amazon's payment services similarly like say you want to deliver high quality video content to different locations all around the world so instead of 
instead of maintaining different service different servers at different location physical location what you can do just you can configure it to amazon cloud front so using cloud front you can cache your videos at, at different geographical locations similarly let's say you want to you are building an application which requires a queue so instead of getting an amazon ec2 and then installing your own queue like rabbit mq or or ibm's MQ, ibm's queuing services what you can use you can use amazon sqs just by writing two lines of code you can use amazon simple queuing services right and this is what they call software as services and also on top of this amazon web services give you different things like you can monitor your system you monitor your EC2 instances, whatever you are, some monitoring services. And also, they provide you Amazon authentication services so that you can authenticate your users and so on. Also, to deploy and build, you can use Amazon's cloud formation. So essentially, what Amazon Web Services gives you, all these kind of added services plus the physical infrastructure to make your enterprise deployment easier. And also important thing is that charges, right? And I really couldn't have teach you a performance engineering course right now, buying hardwares from Dell, then installing different software from somewhere else. And I could not have really do that. Okay. But now I'm able to do because of probably this Amazon web services. So where I can basically get this machine on a five cents per hour, which I can pay, uh, not a problem. So this is what is Amazon web services so now the question is how do we access so how do we access amazon web services so if you are not aware of this thing just go to this website called aws.amazon.com then create an account here and then it will show you different kinds of you know cost for what kind of machines that you want to you want to you want to rent and this everything is on hourly basis okay and once you uh, uh, create an account and then if you log in it's going to look like this and in the top like you know my account is load test and then on top you see there are different services that Amazon gives you and these are the services that whatever I discussed for our purpose we need EC2 services to get hard to get a hardware for web, web tier and also we use Amazon RDS services to get our database tier. So in case you want to install your own database, so what I would recommend that you first go and reserve a machine using EC2 and then download the software, Oracle software or MySQL software and you can configure yourself. So in that case you will learn better. So two options, either you, either you use RDS service or use EC2 service to get a machine and then on top of that you install. I recommend the second option because you learn more. However, for, for this class, what I have done, I'm going to use web tier EC2 services and then for database instead of installing, so I'll use the RDS service. So here's a summary that to set up our test environment, we have to provision Apache server from AWS. Then we provision Oracle Database 11.2.0.2 from AWS. Then we install our application, which is Moodle, on this on, on these two servers. And then we will do a test if things are working or not by browsing a couple of pages and understand a little bit about and understand little bit about the functionality of Moodle. Okay, so that is our goal. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to provision Apache server on AWS. Thank you, thank you very much and see you in next video.